Hello, parents. Thanks for joining me on this episode of the Fast Math Freebies at Home Edition. Do you have a third, fourth, or fifth grader live in the state of Florida and want to help your child prepare for the Fast Math Assessment in May? Well, if you're answering yes to all three of those questions, you are in the right place. My name is Miss McCarthy, and I am a former Florida public school teacher on a mission to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick. For years, I've been creating resources with teachers in mind. And now I'm expanding my impact to create affordable and engaging math video lessons and practice for you to use at home with your child. The following free episode is actually a part of a free course. So all you have to do is click the link in the description box, enroll in the course today, and you'll have access to all of the fast math freebies, the video lessons, and the printables for this grade. And now it's time to dive into that free episode. So let's do it. All right, third grade, here is your problem this week. So go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your own first. Then when you're ready, press play to come on back and check your work. Welcome back third grade, let's go over this one. So it says that Abigail draws a rectangle on her paper. Using a ruler, she draws a length of nine inches and a width of four inches. What is the perimeter of Abigail's rectangle? So I believe just last week we had a similar question with a rectangle and Abigail drawing the same length and the width. But this time the question is, what is the perimeter of Abigail's rectangle? And when we're finding the p -p perimeter, we need to think of p -p plus to add up all the sides because the perimeter is the distance around a shape. So this is the shape of a rectangle and we need to measure the distance around. So that means that looking at this rectangle, we've got four inches on this side plus nine inches on this side plus how many inches are right here? Yeah, four inches because opposite sides are congruent and then going here, we would have a length of what? Nine inches because our opposite side is congruent. So I'm gonna bring this on down here, okay? And that means that same kind of rectangle would be four inches, nine inches, four inches, and nine inches. And if we add up all the sides, so that would be the perimeter equals four plus four, plus nine plus nine or four plus nine plus four plus nine or nine plus nine plus four plus four. We've got the commutative property of addition going on right here. It doesn't matter the order of our add-ins here as long as we're adding them all up. So four plus four equals what? Eight, good. Nine plus nine equals 18 and eight plus 18 equals what? 26. So the perimeter equals 26 inches, and that would be C. Let me make that with red to mark that in officially. C, 26 inches there. Somebody might choose 36 inches because maybe they were thinking that they needed to find the area, which would be multiplying the length times the width. But remember, finding the perimeter, we need to think of p -p perimeter p -p plus add up all the sides, finding the distance around it, okay? Thank you so much for joining me today. And remember, if you're looking for the principle that goes along with this video, you can enroll in that free course today, which gives you access to this video and the printable and all the other videos that I've created, the Fast Math freebie episodes, all in one place for you. And you know what? If you're anything like me, it's out of sight, out of mind. I know that you're busy, so why don't you go ahead and do that now? That way it's off your plate, you take care of it, and you can get your instant access today. Thanks again, and I cannot wait to see you inside the free course.